get on. There's the Brazilian team list. Silva, Falias, the number five, Asuncao six, Costa seven, Ramos eight, Rosa nine, Santana ten, Vieira 11, Martin 12, Maya 13, Clochla 14, and the number 15, Almeida. Martoni Sampao there is the coach, and he will be looking to continue the improvement he's made to this team over the last few years. Always a lively team, the Brazilians. They didn't have the greatest start to the competition against the Germans, having beaten the Argentinians 85-19. They wanted to continue well. There's the Great Britain lineup. Look out for Freeman. She's a free and easy player on court. Moves well, scores well. And when it's clicking for Great Britain and when they utilize the right systems, Freeman is such a dangerous player. It'll be interesting to see what setup they play this evening, what game plan they play. She can be so inventive so creative and unplayable when Britain get it right. There's the starting five for the Brazilians. Falias, Asuncao, Santana Vieira and Almeida. Running two bigs by the, by the look of it, two forward players. And the British, Carragill, Freeman, Williams, Conroy, Hazelden. Well, Freeman, a forward, Conroy, also a forward, Conroy, the biggest player. Carragall. Here's in the guards and Williams. Essentially a centre. 85-19. They beat the Argentinians. 32-77, though, they went down to Germany. Brazil. They'll be wanting to bounce back against Great Britain. That's how they fed. The first game was a bit of a stinker for the British. Canada didn't play well, but they came out seven points up. Argentina went down 79-20 before a famous victory over Germany for Britain, beating last time's Paralympic gold medalists, a team that they struggle to beat regularly in European competition and have done over the last year or so, although they did win about six to eight weeks ago in the tournament build-up Great Britain. They won again here in the highest stage. Conroy to get them underway, and she bags an early two. A nerve settler for Amy Conroy, the Norwich native. The family have followed her out here to the games. Forward comes Jessica Santana, two and a half point player. Finds Almeida, Vivi as she's known. Vivi thinks about the right-handed shot. She goes round Conroy and tries to make it simpler for herself. And a sloppy foul to give away early. Vivi unable to put the points in the basket. Great Britain won't have played in many noisy at a stadium. London 2012, it was very noisy indeed, but they were a much younger team then, and it really affected them. In the first game, we talked to one of the players, they described it as like a wall of noise hitting them, but it'll be a step up from that tonight. Vivi, one-handed, nothing going on that occasion. Four and a half point player. that time. That's an atrophy in her left leg, Vivi, due to a snake bite, of all things. Here comes Joy Hazelden, one of the youngest players in the Great Britain setup. And she bags herself two points. She plays with the oldest of heads on her shoulders. Cleverly in on Giesa Vieira, but illegally so. Great Britain with a 4-0 lead. Obviously, both teams aiming for the victory tonight. Brazil, after losing to the Germans and seeing what Great Britain managed against Germany, will probably be hoping for just a win. For Great Britain, they'll be aiming for as many points as possible if they get the win, because they know Germany looming over their shoulders. They need points in the bag to help them to potentially top the table. 
That's all a long way down the road. There's a lot of basketball to be played. Here's Freeman attacking Vivi. She fades away. She comes back inside and Vivi pays her very close attention, as then does Asun Sal, the captain. But there's no mistakes from Helen Freeman. And she puts the two points away. Six points to nil. Great Britain open in some style here. The Brazilians must answer at some point, though. Asun Sal has the ball. Conroy can't hold on it, pings off her knee and lands to Freeman. Freeman finds her taller forward partner. Conroy looked to go to the paint, spins back instead. And oh, she's a judge to have traveled. Only allowed two pushes on the chair before you bounce the ball. And although Amy Conroy didn't have both hands on her wheel, she pushed with one hand without bouncing the ball and the referee picked up on it. Santana, Conroy tried to get there. I think that'll be Great Britain ball, it is. And the Brazilians looking nervous in the opening exchanges. Well, championship form. They finished 11th in 2014 as the Women's World Championship expanded to 12 teams, beating Peru. In the 11th versus 12th place playoff, nothing there for Great Britain on that occasion, which was a drop of one place in the 2010 World Cup, where they finished 10th, which is South Korea. Below. Up and down. And then through it goes. And Brazil have their first points of the game. It was Vieira with the two. Hazelden. Lovely steal for the Brazilians. And it's Vivi racing away down court. Under the basket, good for two. Fantastic breakaway points for Vivi. Freeman, 6-4, Great Britain lead. Hazelden puts it up, it comes down, no return for Great Britain on that occasion. Co-captain finds Conroy. Hazelden back to Conroy. Much closer to the basket, Conroy. Much taller than Hazelden. She makes it 8-4. That's four points personal for the number 10. Four-point player takes up four of the 14. She's And playing well without setting the world on fire in this competition. Amy Conroy is the, the Vixens team in the Great Britain Women's League. They have a strong women's league in Great Britain. That goes in and out for Vieira this time. Freeman moves the ball on quickly and well to Conroy. This is when Great Britain play well. They get Freeman ahead of the ball and she can cause problems and she can get into the paint. That's very positive stuff from Great Britain. What they failed to do against the Canadians. Williams in for two. This is good, positive play from Great Britain. Parents of Laurie Williams look on, proud of their daughter, as they should be. Alias. Santana. And it comes for Freeman. Defensive rebound, Great Britain have a six-point lead. Weaving from Freeman. Over to Williams, or oh, potential call for a foul there. It's gone Great Britain's way, but not for the foul as Santana came across to meet Williams. A little heavy-handed with her chair movement. Freeman tries to go round. The number 10, Santana. 
into Williams, it goes, she goes beyond the basket, out it comes. The coach wants a three second violation. Well, now, I think there's going to be an issue with the shot clock hit. Matt Wells is saying it's a shot clock violation. I thought that hit the ring and bounced down, but it looks like Brazil will have the inbound ball. Coach Sampao pacing. And play continues. Brazil have the ball. Great Britain 10, Brazil 4. Played by Asun Sao, uh, who started wheelchair basketball back in 2010, the number six. Vivi waits to inbound the ball. Started playing for All Star, All -Star, All -Star Rodas at the age of 15. Vivi inbounds the ball to Asun Sao. He finds Jessica Santana. The defensive rebound of Hazelden, and then Conway can't hold on to it. And Jessica Santana once more for the Brazilians and Vivi. The Brazilians have their tails up at the moment. Lovely pass, great shooting as well from the number five. That's Farias, the number five one point player, 30 years of age. Six to Brazil, ten to Great Britain. Hazelden, in and out the paint goes Conroy. Here is Conroy. Right-handed, that will go, yes it does. And Great Britain are out to double the Brazilian score with 3.20 left in the first. Frenetic start to this one. Vieira on that occasion unable to get the points on and then goes smashing into Freeman. An Australian from Sydney, Matt Wells, signals the foul against the number 11. Waits to inbound the ball. Okay. Major's debut at the 2013 European Championships over in Germany. Here's Freeman. The one change. Evans has come into the game. Hazelden has gone out. Williams. Two more points for her. Now four points personal for the game. Vivi. 6-14 the score. All the way over it goes to the number six. Pull it out and south. The push goes against the exuberant Vivi. Now pulled on the plate. Vivi thinks it's her ball, it's not her ball. She was on penalised. Brazil trying to press Great Britain. Freeman needs to move the ball on quickly because they've got to get the ball over in eight seconds. She does so through manpower alone of her own. Finds Conroy who can't hold on. And Throws the ball off the back end, but it took a touch off a Brazilian player. So Great Britain have nine seconds on the shot clock and 2.08 left in the first. Freeman spins the air stopped by Williams' screen. Up goes a shot and comes down kindly for Freeman off the hands of Vivi, she'll have a second go. Up it goes again, again, the error there on the shot.
Vivi, lovely pass, but Perla, Hassan Sal couldn't hold on. Born in Berlin. Another player who started at All Stars Club in Rodas. East in Berlin. Coached by Wilson Flavio. Freeman. Looking for Hamer. Hamer holds on well off the glass, doesn't go. Still eight points the difference. And Britain. No basket for over one minute twenty now. Oh, poor pass from Carragill, but Freeman. Picks it up and races away down court, just getting over the halfway line in time. Hamer stopped by the Brazilian chair and then rushes her shot and misses it once more. Conroy's come out very early on. Not sure whether that's due to an injury. Miles Thompson is looking to try. Now, Vieira sat in there a while, she gets the shot up and it falls. 14-8 the score now to Great Britain. The shot clock goes blank because it started, or it would have started, with less than 24 seconds on the clock. Freeman. There will be two shots coming the way of Helen Freeman. Out. The first of the game against the number 10, Jessica Santana. Ten point six left in the game in the first. Six points, Great Britain lead by this to stretch it to seven. No problems for Freeman with that attempt. She makes 50% from the line. The British crowd enjoying themselves here in Brazil. And Brazil have called a timeout. Both teams will go to their benches to talk things over. Dan Price just discussing things with Helen Freeman as she came over to the bench. A bright start by both. Britain fans have travelled a long way for this one. Enjoying it just as much as the local fans are. A little cluster of Union flags in the centre of that stand. seconds to go in the first seven points the difference what can Brazil manufacture they're looking for the three they won't get it Freeman will hold on to the ball that will be the end of the first quarter and a strong quarter from the team in red Great Britain they make it 15-8 after the first 10 minutes the hosts currently behind plenty to come though in women's group eight at the wheelchair basketball Well, here are the game statistics. 50% of field goals hit for Great Britain to 27 for the Brazilians. They've tried 15 so far. Three throws, just that one for Freeman. One steal apiece. Defensive rebounds, 10 plays, five for the Brits. Again, a good crowd in here at the Carioca Arena 1. Based on Olympic Park. 
the 2016 Paralympic Games have been so well supported. Rory Williams has played well. But the Brazilians are still in there. They're fighting hard. Cheered on by their home support. Vivi looking to get points on the board early in the second quarter. Vivi and Brazil get the second quarter underway. Miles was the referee that handed the ball to Vivi. Over on the far side, Suzuki Kano and the referee down just getting the ball now. Yusuf Alai, but no points on that offense for Brazil. Miles Thompson looks fairly relaxed. Only involved with the American women's setup. And their coaching team funding 2012. Wants to find a way into the paint, puts the shot up, it won't go, and it wouldn't have counted anyway. It'll be a baseline ball for Britain. She wasn't shaping for the shot when the whistle went. Kano hands the ball to Carrigill. Love was waiting at the top of the key. It went to Freeman. It didn't fall on that occasion. And neither team has got off the mark in this second quarter. Santana over to Perla. Perla up for two. And Sal, the captain, there on the bench looking on Paola Klorka. Easy to identify, she has her name not only on the back of her shirt but also on the side of her chair. Freeman, Love, this is good ball movement by the British team. Conroy then waits, looks for the shot from the angle and that won't go. Freeman tries to punch it over to Carrigal, can't do so. And Santana. Can send Perla away, Perla Asen South. Make an international debut. A major competition against Australia at the 2012 Paralympic Games in London. The Australians went on to win silver, a team known as the Gliders. Sadly failed to qualify for Rio 2016. Fail to get the ball out their own half in the eight seconds allowed. And once more Santana and Vivi link up to start the play for Brazil. Five points now. Great Britain have the lead by Vivi. Trying to work the Great Britain defence. Griffiths is in. Trying to force Vieira back. And Love takes the rebound and plunks it into the lap of Freeman. Freeman needs to move the ball on here. She finds Carragill. Carragill sinks it. And one will come as well. Because Matt Wells spotted an indiscretion. Almost a nervous toot on the whistle from Wells. The game stopped, everyone held their breath, and he put one finger up to signal that Carrigal would have the extra shot. So Great Britain out to the seven-point lead. Hamer returns to the game. Hamer, who currently has 4.3 points per game for the competition. And Carrigal waits 
on the free throw line and sinks the extra shot to make it an eight point difference. Hassan Sout holding on to the ball once more. Her idol, Marquinhos, the number 14 for the Brazilian men's team. As I'm sure many the Brazilian would hold as their idol now, having seen him play here in Rio. The Brazilian men have been exciting. And Marquinhos has been one of the standout players. Love oh, just tipping off the edge of her wheel and almost falling into the path of Griffiths, who just couldn't quite get there. Substitutions for the Brazilians. Eight, 12. Nine coming in. Ramos, Martin. Going out. Martin, Rosa, and Ramos in. Farias and Vieira, the other two players, along with Vivi Almeida, to leave the game. Up and down it goes from Rosa. Hamer holds on to the ball for the Great Britain team. Carragill, poor pass from her, and a stroke of luck as it flashed off the bright orange chair of the new player, Leah Martin. Four and a half point player, the 29 year old. Turn 31. On the 6th of September, another player who originates from the north of Brazil in Berlin. Love. Nothing there again. 3 2 Great Britain lead in the quarter, a very low scoring quarter at the moment. Griffiths keeping. Leah at range, over it goes to Jessica Santana, it pings up and down and Love thought she was going to have to grapple with the Brazilian but in the end she was free to hold on to the ball as she wanted. Interesting to see how Great Britain play this passage, they've taken Freeman out of the game, Love and Conroy will look to dominate, Hamer will want to get into the points and she sinks the basket, good shooting Jude Hamer. The Exeter native as we see Joy Hazelden's family in the crowd with Team Hazelden on their chests. And once more, Britain have doubled the points that the Brazilian team have. Perla Assen South moves the ball over to Rosa. Currently based in Sao Paulo State. A long effort from the number 10, Jessica Santana. Griffiths bounce pass, Love fades inside of Rosalia. Ramos de Silva, Rosalia. Conroy shoots, that will go nowhere, but she will get two shots coming her way. A lot of hard work Miles Thompson has put in to this Great Britain team. Leading them to fifth at the Wheelchair Basketball World Championships of 2014. Took the under 25s to the World Championships where they won gold. In 2015 in Beijing. And Conroy. A look to add the second of two free throws. She can't do so, Hamer nearly got the rebound, the whistle goes though and it looks like Conroy will go to the line for one more. And on that effort she makes no mistake. Leah Martin throws the shot for Brazil. Nothing coming on that occasion though for Ramos de Silva. Love, long pass to Hamer in the paint and she puts the two away. And Great Britain are out to a game high 13 now. What a pass from Robin Love, a player who is truly exciting.
and Jude Hamer, a player who is returning to form as far as it seems for Great Britain. Brazil 10, Great Britain 23, 5.01 left in the half. and fans to clump together this evening. They realised they were going to be outnumbered. They realised they'd been sat rather sporadically around the stadiums in previous games and the call on social media was that they should all sit together and the collective would be better than individuals sat all over the place but with such a loud home crowd. At the moment, it's working. At the moment, Great Britain have a 13-point lead. Perla. Up and down it goes. The bronze medal at the Arpanam Games last year. Hamer doesn't get it. Hard hit off the rim. Falls down for Perla Asen Sao once more. Two point player. Each team, of course, allowed a maximum of 14 points amongst their five individuals on court. He takes up two of that 14 for Brazil. Conroy in a wrestling match for the ball. Foul called on the plate. And the Brazilians fall quiet. Rickus waiting to inbound, but players get called over to the sideline as Great Britain makes some substitutions. Williams, Freeman, and Moore coming in. Hazelden as well. Conroy go to the line because Brazil got to five personal fouls. It was Leah who that went against. And Conroy. Simple stuff from her first. 24 12 now the score. Make that 25. Brilliant stuff from the Brazilians until the final touch from Rosalia Ramos da Silva. Freeman grapples for the ball again. Williams and Hazelden racing forward to incredibly talented players. And Hazelden again making no mistake whatsoever in front of the basket. The Southampton based player from the south coast of England. Just 17 years of age. Lee up with the shot. That well signals that two free throws will be coming the way of the Brazilian number 12 as another 17 year old Charlotte Moore makes the foul. His first foul of this encounter. Lea Martins goes for the line for two. One handed shot. doesn't go either, the technique of Martins. Not the best, one-handed, and the accuracy not there. Williams. Freeman nearly got the ball, I'm not sure who that came off in the end. It's going to go Great Britain's way, so it must have been the Brazilian hand sneaking in. 27-12, Great Britain lead the way now. Freeman. Shot clock 
ticking down. Williams, though, will get the shot away, and she makes it 29-12. And Laurie Williams having one of the best games I've seen her play in a long time. Six points personal for the game. She's lively, and she looks confident. Perla Assensau. Williams just shadows her. Santana, one-handed from deep. Nothing there, good rebounding though by the number nine. And Aurelia, lovely shooting as well from Leah Martin. And that's better from Brazil. 14 29 the score. As across goes Leah, the 29 year old, quite blatantly fouling. for Great Britain, more making way, like for like, one pointer for one pointer. Freeman. Shot just fading away. This to bring up 30 for Great Britain. Doesn't go that time. And Leah can claim the ball. Averaging just one rebound per game, Leah. She's equaled that just with that one catch. Perla Assen out. Conroy. Freeman nearly heading the ball and getting her hands there just in time. Williams with a player out for the Brazilians. Great Britain need to be aware of this, but they failed to get the ball over the halfway line in time, they waste the opportunity. <laughs> Player on the floor was Perla, the captain of Brazil. Just needed some assistance to return to the upright position and a timeout is called. Brazil 14. Great Britain 29. What's Miles Thompson got to say about it? like Great Britain are going to make changes. Portuguese not fluent enough to confirm any Brazilian changes. Yeah, Bartlett, Morrow and Griffiths coming in. Freeman and Carragher by the looks of it remaining. And Anna Ocania rose up inbounds for Brazil. Here's Leah looking to attack the paint. Freeman not welcoming her in there. There goes Jessica Santana. That shot really not working for her this evening. And Griffiths moves the ball on quickly to Morrow. Bartlett can't hold on to it. And it'll go the way of the Brazilians as Bartlett got the last touch. Madonna Bartlett, just 21 years of age. So just 21 years of age, that puts it in the middle-aged category of this Great Britain side, that such a youthful setup. Griffiths goes out to meet the number nine, Rosa. Griffiths, of course, horribly skews the age of the British team as she is 36, turns 37 on the date these games close. Morrow. What a tournament the 16-year-olds had so far. Bartlett, that's brilliant play from Great Britain. And what a basket to bring up 30 points. 31-14 now. And that really was a team basket from the British. And Aurelia Rosa back to Santana. Jessica Santana. 
Richie Nedstrom, carrier kick cut, finds Leah, the big number 12, four and a half point player, and Geordie Bartlett can grab hold of that ball once more and send Morrow down court. Oh, she falls nastily. Seems to be okay. The player from County Antrim in Northern Ireland. Oh, she did get her hands down. It looked to me like she hadn't got her hands down in time and had fallen face first onto the court. Brazil back underway. We're near half time. Leah has the ball for the Brazilians. Just 14 points in the half for them. And it will stay that way, although she will get the offensive rebound from the long shot. There is the end of the half and the score at the end of it. The Brazilians 14, Great Britain 31. Well, Miles Thompson will be happy with what he's seen from his British girls this evening. Dan Price and him, the American pairing who coached this team, We'll have plenty to talk about in the half-time period, but most of it should be positive. 54% they've hit of field goals, 56% from free throws. In comparison, Brazil, 20% of overall field goals successful. They've stolen the ball a couple of times, 10 defensive rebounds, 25 for Great Britain. And that's partly because of 35 shots for the Brazilian, uh, Brazilians, a lot of them from outside. At half-time, Stay tuned for this one. The score, Brazil 14, Great Britain 31.
are warmly welcomed back to the court. They've got a stern test here. They've got a 17-point difference to make up in the second half. Great Britain have been professional in this one. 31 points in the first half, 15 in the first quarter, 16 in the second quarter. DV has done her utmost for Brazil. At the moment, the number 15 has just two points, and she's 100% from her shooting efforts. Miles Thompson has managed his team through this one. There's confirmation of the half-time score. It's Group 8 here at the Carioca Arena 1. Brazil 14, Great Britain 31. The Brazilians just completing the final half-time preparations. Fatias, the number five. Perla, the number six. Vivi was coming out as well to start the half. Love share a joke on the bench. Rosa. There as well for Brazil. Great Britain will inbound the ball. Looks like Leo Martins as well on the left hand side. Freeman to start for Great Britain. Jessica Santana, the last of the starting five for the second half. Freeman in and starts as she means to go on with two points, 33-14. The starting five in the second for Great Britain, Carrigill, Griffiths, Freeman, Morrow and Bartlett. Morrow and Bartlett, the number 11, number 13. 16 and 21 years of age. What a nasty pass to... Perla Asensau, Freeman spins out, over goes Bartlett to help her co-captain out. She returns the favour to allow Geordie Bartlett back into the action. Like a game of stuck in the mud at times. Morrow, up it goes and doesn't come down for the Northern Irish girl. And Vivi looks ahead. With a debut for Brazil at the Beijing Paralympic Games. The major competition, Bartlett. Freeman. Needs to send it, Griffiths will have to launch it and wasn't given much time. Another occasion that Great Britain are pinned in their own half. That's two in the game so far, eight second violations. It's when they hold the ball. Early in the play, Not easy for the teams to pop them in. Freeman causes headaches for Anna Aurelia. Rosa, the quarterback, Styley launches the ball to Vivi. Vivi pings it in towards the number five, Candida de Silva. And there's Bisa. There she is. Vivi, it goes, the whistle on the play though. Vivi will have a couple of shots, Brazil need them, they're 14-33 behind. Vivi, unable to sink any of three so far. She was 100% from field goals. She's now 50% from field goals and she remains none from four from the line. Now Griffiths with the opportunity under the basket, off the glass. Her shooting has not been there this tournament. Claire Griffiths, the most experienced player on the Great Britain team, the most experienced player on court. Often a fairly consistent shooter. Can float in and out 
of confidence. It's just not going right for her in these games so far. Vivi instills Freeman. She finds Griffiths. This is where she really excels with her passing. Carrigal under the basket goes to Morrow instead as she was off balance. And Morrow puts the ball in the basket and Great Britain have started strongly. 4-0 for the third quarter. 35-14. And Brazil are being pushed out of sight by this British team currently. Carrigal with the still from Perla's poor pass. And referee, umpire as he is actually in this game. Cano gives the foul. Andrea Farias rolls away as in once more comes Lia Maria Suarez Martins to give her a full name. International debut versus Canada back in 2007. Vivi is the one she replaces. Freeman waits. Bartlett with the screen. Freeman wasn't content with the range of the shot, goes closer and makes it count. And that was wise play by Freeman. She didn't want to take the risk. She didn't need to take the risk because Bartlett had set the screen for her. Relia Rosa started playing the sport in Rio Verde. Now here in Rio de Janeiro, Freeman. Jessica trying to block Freeman up to Griffiths. She's slightly isolated, but then Carrigill got up with her. She finds Carrigill eventually. One and a half point player finding a one point player. And then Freeman finds her way round in through the back door. And the Brazilians fallible. Freeman, the 26 year old. Now has nine points for the game. Only Conroy can match her for Great Britain so far. Relia Rosa. Bounces around and Leah Martin unable to keep control. Griffiths trying to get ahead of Freeman. Morrow's getting there in support. Perla fades away. Here is Morrow under the basket and she is continuing in brilliant form, Katie Morrow. Remember the name. How many Paralympics could this girl have left in her career? She's only 16. She's playing like someone with 10 to 15 years more experience. Scores are reversed. Brazil 14, Great Britain 41. Dan Price takes his turn to talk. A Wisconsin coach who has had such an impact on the likes of Mareike Miller, the German player. He won three national wheelchair basketball championships in the USA together. She states him as a huge influence. Miller, player who has played very well here in Rio de Janeiro for Germany. Coach, she rates so highly on the Great Britain bench tonight, masterminding their plays against this Brazilian team. 18 from 31 for Great Britain, an improved Shooting statistic for them, just seven baskets for Brazil from the field so far. Vivi. Back to Vivi it goes from Perla. These two playing well together. The shot clock ticking down. Was that released in time? Well, it won't matter because Geordie Bartlett has the ball. And Bartlett, who plays for Sheffield Steelers in the Women's League in Great Britain, moves the ball on Morrow. Right-handed up and down. Beautiful shape there from Katie Morrow. 
Each point could be significant for Great Britain, as it all depends on Germany's result against Argentina. Argentina have had a pretty torrid tournament, but bear in mind they're the lowest ranked team in this group. And they weren't expecting to come here and really get any wins. I think lost to Brazil at the Par Pan Am Games. Freeman can't hold on. That's well stolen by Anna Aurelia Rosa. And here she comes. The three and a half point player has to roll away from Bartlett. Back to Perla. Vivi on the right hand side. Griffiths goes in the hunt of defensive ball. Varias up and down. That's well played by Brazil. Andrea Santa Rosa Farias, just a one point player, lives in Fortaleza. And Great Britain slightly ruffled. 16 to Brazil, 43 Great Britain. Vivi waits for the pass that's right, finds the pass. And again, oh, I thought that had gone for Santana. Eventually, Freeman comes up with a ball and can scurry away. Griffiths and Morrow working hard ahead of her. Griffiths tries to leave a gap in the paint for Freeman. She doesn't need it anyway. Being pushed all over the place. Helen Freeman sinks her two, takes her personal tally to 11. Great Britain to 45. Perla, Vivi. Up and in from Vivi. She falls to the paint, but she won't mind. Scrapes and bruises are part of the game. And Vivi goes to four points personal with a battling two. Another stoppage for a timeout. Brazil 18, Great Britain 45. 3.17 left in this third quarter. instructions on the Brazilian bench. Miles Thompson just said to the Great Britain team, make yourselves available. And getting over the halfway line and getting up in support weren't making themselves free for passes. Brazil will be hoping to get more success from their shots. Low percentage so far from them. Overall, just 21% of field goals. Nothing from the free throw line. Here's Hamer returning to the game, Jude Hamer. Conroy backs towards the paint, finds Hamer. Unusual to see these two pairing up, although they did earlier on. And Hamer sinks it. That's well played by Jude Hamer. for Coventry Wheelchair Basketball Academy in the Women's League. This team all play together also in the National Wheelchair Basketball League in Great Britain for a team called the Coyotes. Conroy going to go all the way here, Conroy, if Brazil aren't careful. Perla isn't particularly careful with her defence, but it works well. Hamer, oh, she fainted and tried to come back inside the paint, but had been in there rather a long time. And Jude Hamer penalised for the three-second violation, not allowed to sit inside that green painted key. And the paint, as it might be referred, for more than three seconds. So Vivi into the paint, she goes. Brazil with the opportunity, down it falls for Carragill. The foul called on the plate, it's the number seven. Who it will be called against. Lucy Clea, or Clea for short, two and a half point player. 
Claire Griffiths returns to the GB half to inbound. Hamer. Knocked out of play by Vivi. 16 left on the shot clock. Hamer back and forth against Vivi. Griffiths finds Hamer. Hamer down for two. Not her first time here in South America for Jude Hamer. She was part of a television programme which visited Ecuador a number of years ago, back in 2007. She and others with impairments tested themselves in the Ecuadorian wilds. It's 2049. Griffiths battling with Vivi, the foul given. The chairs intertwine. Carrigill will inbound. 49-20 the score. Conroy right the way through off the glass and Great Britain over 50 points now. And this is a vastly improved Great Britain performance on the first game. Team Amy there. The sister and Amy Conroy's dad. Number nine is Anna Aurelia Rosa. Vivi. Up and out it comes for Brazil. It's with Claire. The number seven. She goes for the one-handed shot, Claire. It misses everything that time. An amputee due to cancer. Lives near Berlin in Paha State. Love. Carragill. Hamer up ahead of her. The mismatch on height with Claire. Hamer drops it into Griffiths, who spins out and finds Robin Love. She's good from this range. She's great from this range. 20-53. 33 points the difference. This really is a statement from Great Britain. And there's the end of the quarter and the score. Brazil 20, Great Britain 53. There are the statistics, 65% of field goals now for Great Britain. Not much pressure in the Brazilian defences, 21% for Brazil. They've struggled with their shot tonight. Freeman has been on fine form. Although she got little game time in the third as Great Britain. Rest a player who has so much time on court. Great pictures from the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games.
Aurelia Rosa to clear, to restart this match, the fourth quarter underway. Brazil 20, Great Britain 53, Hazelden into the game once more. Williams to Freeman, to Conroy. Conroy just assesses what's going on before her. Hazelden spins, Freeman, the shot clock running out for her. She needs to act swiftly, she does, and she doesn't get the basket as Vivi steals in with a defensive rebound. Lovely pass from Vivi that time, though, for Perla, unsuccessful. Freeman, play up with the defence. Conroy gets the basket as Vivi went tilting up and tried to get over the top of the big Great Britain forward. She's made a big difference to this team. She was a member of that World Championship team, which finished fifth in Toronto. The shooting and her height really do add a great dimension for Great Britain. Clear. Perler trying to set the screen. Conroy with the defensive rebound. Williams. No one ahead of her. Now there is Freeman. Gets free. Conroy too coming in and player trying to delay Conroy sets with more in front can't put the ball in the basket on that occasion the score stays 35 the difference the team in white Brazil the hosts of these Paralympic games rush forward with Vivi Freeman's defense is strong Moore keeps Perla to a distance Rosa back to Perla Back to the basket, that doesn't help. Vivi spins to get position, puts the shot up to beat the buzzer, and does beat the buzzer. Well played, Vivi. That's up to six points now for Vivi Almeida. Freeman to Conroy, Conroy back to Freeman. And off the court she goes, it won't count. Australian referee. Spotting the indiscretion. Conroy just slipping a wheel off court, and it's not allowed. Perla. Still Perla fights, all Freeman got in the way. And it's an offensive foul called. Well, Perla ends up on the ground, frustrated. Rosa's gone off. The number four, Silva, comes in. Candida de Silva, Bisa, three and a half point player, lives in Kariakika. And the foul was number four against Vivi, and it will be a huge disappointment to not only the Brazilian team, but their fans if they lose Vivi in this fourth quarter. Hazelden then misses the MVP from the Great Britain All-Stars game in 2015. She played for the West against the East, and the West won, as they have for the last couple of years. Player off the basket and in for two. Well played, Claire. Lucy Claire da Costa e Costa started this game 17 years ago. Williams, Conroy, one way, Hazelden the other, back to Freeman. There is Conroy, good for two, 57 24. <laughs> 15 points now for the game for Amy Conroy. She came in with 11.3 points per game average over the three Great Britain have played so far. That's missing everything apart from Conroy's right hand, which was outstretched to get the defensive rebound. Freeman with Hazelden up ahead. There's a three on one here if Williams can get with them. She can't, but Hazelden drops a basket anyway as Williams arrived. What 
what a talent Joy Hazelden Vivi 5.30 left a big difference now for the Brazilians 24-59 Great Britain have the lead looking for their third win Williams doesn't go that time slightly rushed edging away from the basket a difficult position to get the shot away. Good play. From the number four, Bisa. Perla. And it goes to Clea. And there is the shot clock violation. That will not count despite the cheers of the crowd. Vivi was unable to get the shot away in time. It will be Great Britain ball as they make some changes. Vivi heads out. Four forty. A timeout has been called. Brazil twenty-four. Great Britain fifty-nine. Leading all scorers at the moment. The fifteen points of Amy Conroy. She's been on for nineteen minutes fifty-nine. Freeman 23-15 for 11. For Brazil. Asuncao. Perla Asuncao has six points. Viva has six equally. She's hitting 60% of her field goals. Brazil. Well, it's rotten reading currently. 23% of field goals successful. The crowd are still cheering. The crowd is still enjoying it. The Paralympic Games are definitely a success in South America. Substitutions again for Great Britain. Griffiths, Evans and Love all come in. Martin, Leah Martin for Vivi also in. Love that time, not able to put the basket away for two. 4.20 left in the game. 4.20 left of the group stages for Great Britain. Brazil not finished after this evening in the group. Leah with the shot, up and down. Grabbed quickly by Farias. And a hush falls over the Carioca Arena one. Perla ready to inbound. 14 seconds on the shot clock for Brazil. Player. One-handed, doesn't fall for her. Off it goes. And Great Britain will inbound. Freeman works her way busily around the number 12, Leah Martin. Finally finds a way through. That's well done by Helen Freeman, and the basket's good as well. It was industrious. She held on to the ball a long time, but when she makes it count, that's fine. Brazil 24, Great Britain 61. 3.31 left in the game. Perla. Leah Martin with that very easy to identify chair. Lovely long two from the number 12. She plays her wheelchair basketball in Sao Paulo. In Dea Tuba. Love Griffiths. Hazelden, good pass and a very good take to hold on in any way there. Hazelden under pressure from Perla. The shot 
unsuccessful. It ended up as a pass to Freeman, but because it didn't hit the ring, it's a turnover. Amy Conroy, probably the Miss Nice of the GB women's team. She really is a, a gentle soul. Although on the wheelchair basketball court, she tends to bully. Miles Thompson will have a lot to say again, as will coach Sam Power of Brazil. Sampao so calm all evening, Martoni Sampao. Well, that man's not sure who he's supporting, Brazil or Great Britain. He doesn't seem too worried. Just enjoying the game and enjoying the Rio 2016 Paralympics. 2.47 left to go in this Group A encounter. Brazil versus Great Britain. Player Hazelden goes out. Leah drops the ball in, and the basket is good for Perla. Personally, now Perla with those two taking her to eight points 28 61 the score. Hazelden. Hazelden shoots, and misses, and it fades away over the back line. Great Britain, eight apiece with the Brazilians in this final quarter so far. They went 22-6 in the third. Perla. As the number four. Bisa sneaks in, three and a half pointer. Plays for Iferes club in Vitoria. It'll be Leah who goes to the line for two. One-handed shot successful that time. The shooting efficiency, the one major thing that Brazil probably need to improve the technique. If you watch them compared to the top teams, just not quite there. They get one from two from the line. We're into the last two minutes of the game. Hazelden comes forward for Great Britain. She has love. The player from Air in Scotland alongside her. Hamer, that won't go. Fourth quarter, Great Britain. Just 33% success. Four from 12. Could prove costly come the end of the group stages. There are scenarios where points could come into play. The Germans scored heavily against this Brazilian team. It's now 61-29. 61-31, correction. And Leah has the extra shot. Great Britain just taking their foot off the gas at the moment. And Leah makes it 12-8 in the fourth. 61-32 in the game, 125 to go. Griffiths to Hazelden, Hamer. Leah, good defence. 107 left in the game. Player keeping Hamer at distance. Griffiths comes across to inbound. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Out to Love it goes. 
Griffiths will turn and shoot. Oh, lovely shooting from outside Claire Griffiths. It's been a quiet, but, uh, quiet competition in front of the basket for the Great Britain number six. She averaged 0.7 points per game so far in the competition. She adds her first two of the evening. Well into the last minute. Speculative from Brazil. Evans to Griffiths. Griffiths has to wind her way past the Brazilian hands. Hazelden, four up for Britain. Just Griffiths behind. Hamer can't hold on. Now, Great Britain, I think, will get the ball back here. They will. And they'll get a fresh 24 seconds as well with only 26 left in the game. Jude Hamer waits for the inbound. It will come from Griffiths. Goes to Love instead. Back to Griffiths once more. We'll have Hamer in front of her. And Jude Hamer can't quite put the basket away. Alias comes away for Brazil. Plays for Adesi Club in Fortaleza. Into the last five. It's been a comfortable win for Great Britain. There goes the Hooterers. Leah smashes into Jude Hamer. A wry smile from Hamer. She got valuable court time. Perla worked her socks off for Brazil. The Great Britain team have won comfortably here. The score in Group A, Brazil 32, Great Britain 63. Well, the team's just congratulating each other. Great Britain's final Group A match. They go out with a record of three and one after the loss in the opening game to Canada. How costly could that be? Miles Thompson will know that on form, and had they not come in in such a poor way in the opening game, they would be going away unbeaten in the pool. But Canada did enough. The British flag and the Brazilian flag wave together. It was a good-natured game, this one. The Brazilians continue in the pool, looking for a win against the Canadians. They performed well here. Haven't quite got the results they would have hoped for. Although, of course, the win against Argentina will help the Brazilians towards the quarterfinals. The fans have enjoyed it once more. Leading all scorers, Freeman 13, Conroy though 15. The Rio 2016 Paralympic Games, wheelchair basketball in the women's pool eight has served up some brilliant matches. Louise Sugden, Paralympian there on the left-hand side. co captain of Great Britain in London. And the Brazilians take the applause of their fans. And so they should. They're shooting just not quite there tonight. But they're an improving team in international terms. And they should be proud of what they're achieving. British girls, warm applause for their opposite numbers. Well, the wheelchair basketball is only going to get more exciting from here on in. One of the highlights of the 2016 Paralympic Games. So many highlights. Great Britain's Group A comes to a conclusion. They wait to see where they will finish in Group A. After the top three teams have beaten each other so far, Canada beat Britain. Britain beat Germany. Germany beat Canada. Conroy 15, Perla got eight, Martins eight for the Brazilians, and Vivi six, Freeman 13, and Hamer eight for Great Britain. Those are the leading scorers. Here are the statistics, 57%, a far better shooting percent for Great Britain in this game, although it did fade away slightly in the fourth, 25% only for Brazil, we'll need to look at that. 
free throws, 56 to 22% for the Brazilians. Not good enough, really. Defensive rebounds of 41 for Great Britain. And the final score as we see the quarter breakdowns. Brazil 32, Great Britain 63.